Hi there everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to show you how the cheapest box blade you can find on Amazon performs behind your tractor. Stick around. Alright guys, this is a 55 inch box blade by Moto Alliance made by Impact Implements. Not some companies you've probably heard of. I haven't heard of them either. The box blade has held up pretty well. I've used it. I used it last year for a little bit on this particular driveway. Uh, we're out at Yukon Acres. This is the main drag into the into the back 40, the back 80. Um, but this is a box blade that I picked up last season and I used it a few times and it might be the, a box blade that's going to work out for you. So I'm going to use it. You're going to see some footage of that. At the end of this I'll give you my opinion and I'll tell you a little bit more about it. So now we've gone over just a few times uh, back and forth and the scar fires on the box blade have really loosened this up. They've really made this, they've made this fresh concrete a little bit looser. So um, now I can finally, I can pick up some of the loose material now. I'll bring the scar fires up and I'll just use the box blade and we'll level this out a little bit more than it is. Boy, it's a really dry day. This sure makes it for a dusty, a dusty experience. But this is the Moto Alliance Impact Implements box blade. You can find it on Amazon. I'm going to put a link in the description. So if you want to go there and check it out, you can. I would say, guys, this is not a heavy duty box blade. This is a good maintenance box blade. So if you've got trails that are already made, you've got, you've got places that just need maintaining. You're not taking topsoil off of something where you fear that there might be some stumps or roots or large rocks that you might bend it up because it's not the heaviest gauge metal, but it's cheaper. It's a good value package for you, I think. Uh, so far, it's held up well for me. It really does a nice job smoothing out the driveway. I'm pretty happy with it. I think you will be too if that's the kind of thing you're looking for. Again, if you're looking for something really heavy duty, you don't want that. It's probably not for you, but. For you guys that are looking for low maintenance, light maintenance, um, just maintaining stuff, that could be perfect. So I'm going to show you around just a little bit closer here. You can check out, it does have, what I really liked about this is it has six different scar fires and it's 55 inches long. Most box blades, the heavy duty ones um, for the Kubota are like 50 inches or 48 inches even. But this one's 55, so it's a little bit wider. and I, you know, for maintaining your subcompact can probably pull that completely full. I don't know. I, I haven't had a problem yet. Put it in low range and, and nothing stops these tractors, right? 
so you can see how uh, see how dusty my other camera got. Let's see. <laughs> I'm telling you that this that this box blade is a light duty box blade. I hit one rock, right? I mean granted the rock is like the size of the iceberg that sank the Titanic, but one rock is a good one. It wasn't moving and uh, the scar fire bent pretty badly, okay? So again guys, I'm emphasize this is a light duty box blade. If you buy it and wreck it, don't blame me. No big rocks, no big stumps. Loose gravel does a great job. Why is the giant rock, the iceberg rock still here? Well, because, where is it? Where, here it is, it's right here. All right, look at this thing. This is just the surface of the rock. It is huge, all right? Maybe one of these days we'll get back here with the backhoe and dig it up, but one of these days. <laughs> After I break a few more things. All right, now you know. I'm gonna run this over a few more times, level it out a little bit better, and that's gonna be it. So, hope you like this one, you guys. Please give me a like, it helps the channel tremendously. Uh, comment too, I'd, I'd love to hear from you. And uh, we have a Facebook group, Ritterbit will do. Until next time, guys, keep on tractoring, and God bless.